<laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's got a hole in the chest, okay. Oh no, it's got an eye. It's gonna look at us. Oh. Nope. Do not want. Ah, the turn! Yes! Oh, <laughs> gross. Oh, that's terrifying. And welcome to GT Not Live, where we're not live and neither is planet Earth soon. Um, so, the reason I say that, fun fact, uh, is recently we did a series, as many of you watched, on uh, the Walton Files, which was us going back through kind of a FNAF-inspired story all about animatronics, murder, human tragedy, all the horrific stuff that you love to watch and comment on over on Game Theory. Um, and that was a lot of fun. That was really cool. I've really enjoyed what we've been trying recently with you guys, which is kind of these live theory sessions, right? Where we're getting to react to things in real time. You're getting to craft your theories down in the comments over on the Game Theorist subreddit. Um, and we kind of experience these sorts of things together, right? Uh, you know, maybe they lead to a theory, maybe they don't. Uh, but it's this idea of like, let's kind of co-watch or, or, you know, like, let's observe something for the first time together and we can react to it in real time, we can talk about it in real time, uh, it'll be a little bit creepy, it'll be a little bit interesting, it'll be mysterious, and we can try to piece together the clues of the narrative together in real time, um, while also helping to support or kind of draw attention to really cool creators who are doing really interesting, awesome things that might not be as well discovered yet, right? Um, and so Walton Files, like I mentioned, is one that I've been keeping track of for a while. There's another one down the line that I expect that we'll be doing something similar with, uh, which is the uh, Harmony and Horror series, uh, which is by uh, the Baddington channel, which I've been keeping light tabs on for a while. Uh, I think I want to give kind of fnaf -y stuff a break for a little bit, just because uh, Walton Files was a lot of kind of FNAF-inspired things, and that one is also about animatronics and, you know, dead people. <laughs> animatronics and dead people, you know, the huge. Uh, so we might come back to that one in, in like a month or two here. But in the meantime, as we kind of do this like live theory crafting reaction style video, we should come up with a name for it. What would we call this? I don't know. I like theory crafting. Theory crafting. Theory craft. Ooh, that's Ooh. fun. Ooh. Like Minecraft, except theory craft. Right, everything has to be related. Uh, right, it's Minecraft in, in some Well, it's, it's, it's an era where SEO matters, man. And so if you're like, oh, that's a thing. Minecraft. <laughs> it's not like you're crafting mines in Minecraft. Either. Anyway, anyway, theory craft. That's cool. Theory crafting. So in this ongoing series of theory, live theory crafting, Let's uh, let's continue. So I had uh, Matt and Amy start looking to what are some. There's there's a couple I know of, but what are some other uh, channels or content that we can kind of do this sort of thing with? Because I've been having a lot of fun with it, and they came up with this one that we're reacting to today, which is uh, Gemini Home Entertainment, <laughs> which uh, has if if you show it, oh you have it on screen right now, uh, which says uh, we're not going anywhere, which is really interesting. Um, this is not one that I knew about. Uh, obviously, uh, Local 58 was one that we had talked about in the past on Film Theory, which I had been keeping track of for a while. Um, you know, Petscop was one that I kind of came across and had been keeping track of. Uh, so this is actually, this looks in the Local 58 vein, where it seems like, just from scrolling through the videos here, it looks like they're kind of this, like, old-timey, from, like, 80s, like early 80s kind of uh, local TV network. Uh, local 58 was kind of that idea of, in the olden days, right, there weren't always just big syndicated channels and cable channels. There were like the local stations, right, that just were local programming made by people who had videos or reruns or whatever, if, especially if you had like local news or events that were happening, local weather. It was just highly specific to your town, your city, your immediate county and region. I have, I, these still exist. Do they still exist? Who has TV? Any, like, content is so broken up at this point that it's hard to tell. 
Uh, Did you grow up with local stations, or is this a thing that I grew up with? So North Carolina specifically doesn't have like a public public access yeah public like, asset network. Access stuff. Yeah, but we do have a public access channel. You do okay, but most of it is like re-syndicated like PBS stuff. yeah they fill the time with a lot of PBS style stuff I think it and... used to be a lot more community centric yeah and then over the years it's kind of yeah you gotta fill the time and no one <laughs> there's no real business model to any of this so sure uh but yeah you see a lot of these uh, horror channels kind of popping up with this sort of stuff so I'm curious what this one has in store uh video distribution company that's all we get you always got to start on the About tab. Everyone always forgets the About tab, so it looks like they have a Discord to talk about what's going on. Got that merch game, which is cool. Play. Here's what Play is. Lethal Omen by Alpine. Downloadable game. Ooh, it ties into a game? Weird. Kill all enemies. Huh. So I wonder if... This is interesting. Sus. Six endings. Okay. Interest. So this actually might spin off into its own game. That's fascinating. I, did you know that when you when you picked this? Yes. You did. You no. did not. No, you had I no didn't. idea. You had no idea. You <laughs> even had no clue. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Gemini Home Entertainment. Uh, yeah. Amy and Matt said like this is some cool videos that might be fun to react to. Uh, and then now uh, see this is why you gotta check the about tab because it seems like maybe the story continues over in a video game or something, but. Uh, we'll, we'll find out together. It seems like they've been doing this for a little over a year. Last upload's three months, and it seems about like a month or two between each upload. Um, cool. I think this one we should... Do you have one that we should start with, Matt? Uh, the most recent one. Is a good starter? I, I think so. Okay. It's a good hook. It's a really good hook. Get you okay. in the mood. Great. Get, get us in the mood for Gemini Home Entertainment. Uh, 50k subs, roughly. Let's... Hopefully get you some more and also get some attention to this. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, advanced mining. Theory crafting. We're going to mine and craft. Here we go. I'm going to do this full screen. Gemini Home Entertainment Classic. Got that nice gritty. Yay! Optical video. Home Invasion. Help and safety. Great. Do I have this sped up? This feels fast. It is. Okay, hold up. Normal. Home invasion can be a daunting. Oh shoot! Sorry. Oh god. Home invasion can be a daunting and stressful prospect. This videotape is intended to ease your stress and prepare you for home invasion step by step. Should the moment arise. Oh great. Sure. I I could use that. Uh, keep in mind. Is that a TV in the background? Again, if these are theory crafting videos, um, that's an odd glowy thing in the background. Windows and doors are the most commonly used entrances during home invasions. Ensuring that these areas are locked may prevent or slow home invaders, allowing for authorities to be called yes. That, in general, that is always a great policy. It's part of my nightly routine. Make sure everything's locked up, because God forbid anything happens. A number of security systems can be installed in the home, including cameras, motion detectors, and alarms. All of these systems, all these systems may be disabled via blunt force. As most home invasions take place at night, sufficient lighting can successfully stop a home invader before they even reach the house. Are they following us a list of commonly used methods of entry during home invasions? The blunt force thing is weird. Is this, is this a video telling me how to enter homes or not? Or to prevent them from entering homes? Sure. The window. Breaking a window can create easy access to a home. Note that this will cause noise that may alert prey. Ah, there it is. <laughs> yep, this isn't this isn't to help me. This is to help them. Uh, breaking a window can create access to the home. This will cause noise that may alert prey. <laughs> Vocalizing or making oh audio luring. It's their animatronics, aren't they? Vocalizing and making percussive noise against a door may cause prey to be drawn to it. Oh, so knocking on the door, allowing for easy access. So we've got, what, some uh, aliens or uh, monsters that are going to eat us? Burrowing underneath the home's foundation can create access into the home from below. <laughs> Allowing for easy access between, wait, uh, oh, easy access between nests. So we've got ourselves some sort of uh, insectoid style creature. Uh, <laughs> God, that feeds on people? Great. Awesome. Starting off strong. 
The following will explain what to do upon entry into a home. Oh, jeez. Eat the human. Savor their... Oh. oh. Locate prey. Oh, jeez. Incapacitate prey. Oh, no. <laughs> Enter prey via the proboscis. Ooh. Nothing like a good proboscis-centered creature. Oh, that's no bueno. So, oh, oh, now we're switching to real life footage. Cool. Um, so we've got ourselves what? Uh, it sounds like alien insects that are either body, like maybe body snatchers. Because if you're entering the prey via your proboscis, sure you might be consuming them, but you might be like body snatching them or doing something like uh, like an alien where you're inserting yourself or like a. a a baby into the person so it can burst out. Do you genuinely know what proboscis is? Yeah, do you not know what a no, proboscis what is? is? That? Wait, really? No, you say that like everybody knows what proboscis is. Proboscis? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? A probos it's, it's it's just like a like a no like an elongated kind of like no like um like an elongated nose. How did you learn what that word was? Here, hold up. Cuz you act like I'm insane for not knowing. I what I am that surprised. Word is. I thought proboscis was just like No, I think you spent a lot of time on the internet theorizing. Well, proboscis, like the proboscis monkey, you know, it's, it's, it's known for its big nose, right? It's just a oh. nose. Yeah, the nose of a mammal. So yeah, you, your nose is your proboscis. So we just have a, nose. a proboscis. Yeah, we have one. It's, huh. Yeah, or like, like it says here, the trunk of an elephant. The fact that you're questioning me on it is getting me to like, wait, do I really know? But yeah, no, the proboscis monkey, uh, the elephants, like the trunk is known as, as a proboscis. Um, I think that's where I first learned it is, I don't, I don't know, I guess, like, this is a trunk, otherwise known as a proboscis, and then you meet the monkey, and things like that, yeah, so, via the nose, you know, it's, it, that's, yeah, that's what it is. I like that in some worms, it's an extensible tubular sucking worm. Well, that's, right, that's exactly it, so, so, like, the other thing that I think of when I think of a proboscis, although I don't know if it necessarily calls it, but, like, uh, similar to, like, a mosquito nose. Mm. Right? Like a mosquito mm -hmm. nose. And that's what I'm thinking these things are, which is if, if they have a nest, the burrowing doesn't really make sense. But if they have a nest, I think of like insects and that immediately, and if they have a proboscis, I think of like their mosquitoes that are going to like insert themselves into you and then like either suck you out or suck themselves in. This has been really informative. Already! And we're less than 10 minutes in. This is great. Proboscis. Yeah, the proboscis monkey. That was actually an animal of the day. So if you have a Google Home, uh, and if you have kids, even better. But if you have a Google Home and you have kids, you can ask, what's the animal of the day? Hey, Google, what's the animal of the day? And it has a whole routine that's like, do, 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 do. And it tells you a little fact of today's animal is the proboscis monkey. And then it does the noise, like, oh, 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 oh. And then it's like, proboscis monkeys live in whatever, whatever. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. And then they do like a daily challenge and this and that. But, um, but yeah, proboscis monkey was one. For sure. Green anaconda is one of Ollie's favorites. Uh, okay. Anyway, so now that we all know what a proboscis is. Huh? What were... Uh, okay, really, I gotta ask. What were you envisioning when it says it enters you <laughs> well, through its proboscis or I, use the proboscis to enter? I had assumed that it was like a made-up alien word. Oh, you know okay. I mean? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I can't be alone in not knowing what that is. I'm sure that people in the comments... Oh, I'm sure in the comments. Question. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey, uh, justice for Matt over here. Thank hashtag. Uh, if, you don't, if you did not know what a proboscis is and you learned through this video, let us know down below. <laughs> So we can get, fill up our comment section with a bunch of nose-related SEO, so that way we get suggested against really random nose-related videos. I feel like that's like a Dr. Pimple Popper thing at a certain point. <laughs> all right. We're all, we're all, okay, so now this is doing the Walton Files thing, where we're hopping into real-life footage. Cool. So it starts with, like, the PSA local footage, and now we're hopping into this stuff. This, this is always the stuff that gets me. I love the playing of the media, the medium of like local 58 uh, public access style television. So that's a really cool way to start it off and I like that they're mixing the medium here with the first person thing. So let's see. So are we the alien? Or are we like spying on some aliens? That's the question. I'm just like looking in the corners. Like, you always gotta look for the shadows, right? They always hide things in the shadows. Ooh, hey. Blood? Wait, what was that? I don't know if it matters a whole lot. 
There is something in there. Huh. Bar? A, you, oh, you definitely see the A, R, maybe? L? Is there an L at the end there? You can tend to see that there is an E, maybe an L there at the very end of that thing. Huh. And then like some sort of logo. Okay, good to know. Might just be setting, might not be intentional. Again, since we're just starting with things, it's hard to see like what is and isn't part of the story or if this is just like a local set that they had. Um, also, fun fact, I swear my house when I was growing up had wallpaper that was really close to that. Real close. The, the heart in the shape of, or flowers in the shape of a heart, absolutely. This is like my house in a nutshell. Oh, nice. Nice mirror. Let's see, we're near the garage since we have a washer and dryer nearby. As, as you become a homeowner, you start to learn like the general rules of house layout. And so that's kind of the mudroom area. You want access out of the garage into kind of a, a mudroom where you can kind of like get rid of muddy shoes and stuff. Ooh, hello. Hello. Ooh, what is that wire? Are those wires? Strings? What is that? Wires or strings or tentacles? That's odd. All right. Oh, we're getting some like, oh, wait, wait. What's that? Oh, is it someone sitting in the chair? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Is it a, it's a humanoid? Cool. Is it, ooh, yeah, get, get out of there. Oh, gross. It's got a hole in the chest, okay. Oh, no, it's got an eye. It's going to look at us. Oh, nope, do not want, ah, the turn, yes, oh, gross, oh, that's terrifying, ah, oh, even, even if I expected it to come, I'm like, oh, this is going to happen, oh, it's still great, so, okay, what does this mean, they are either, so, that tells me they're either decomposing humans, like, that is a human that was, like, properly infiltrated, and they're, like, sucking dry, and that's like the sinews or kind of him decomposing or m more accurately. And, and I think the more likely scenario here is they're forming these creatures. Like they are taking the form of humans. So they're trying to like, these are half constituted bodies that are kind of being built up. And the eye is just kind of one of the organs that's being built up. I think that would be my guess. Ah, oh. <laughs> creepy, creepy, creepy. Uh, no. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, spider legs. Ah, no, 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 no. Like little, little crabs, spider legs. Nope. Yeah, this. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, crunch. Crunch at the end. Home invasion help. <laughs> Great. Thank you for that, Gemini Home Entertainment. Wait, was there anything at the end there? Hey, hey, that's our video. I love that video. Man, that channel's great. Uh, okay, hold up. Whoa, there's that creepy one again. Uh, right at the end here. I just want to make sure they didn't hide anything. Again, like... If you're doing one of these things, hiding stuff at the very, very end, right before the video cuts off, is always a good one. No. Okay, that's it. Um, cool. And then that's this great video. I uh, love that channel. Cool! Oh, this is super fun already. That was good choice. Good choice, Matt. Good way to kind of entry into this. Um, yeah, so immediately what comes to mind is... Local 58, like, it's very much inspired by kind of, like, the, the Local 58 creepy public access feel. But I love the inclusion of the at-home mechanic. Um, 
uh, uh, off the bat, like I said, we kind of talked through it, but I my prediction here, just off of the evidence from one video of for 8, 12, 17, or 15, uh, is that it is a alien insect that is like a human doppelganger. That would be my guess, just because we've got Gemini, so I'm assuming this is their home planet. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Gemini Home Entertainment. I'm wondering if that's a pun on words, right? So Gemini Home Entertainment, you think of just like, oh, it's it's a generic name for a production video production company, right? But maybe this is creating home entertainment for the, the alien race of Gemini, the planet, right? Like I could see this being videos that they send back like a home invasion. Hey, when you come to Earth and invade, here's let's learn about humans, right? Um... That's really interesting. So insect creatures from the planet Gemini that uh, copy humanity, uh, they are either doppelgangers themselves or they insert themselves into, via their proboscis, insert themselves into human hosts. Uh, cool, let's try next one. Christmas Eve party. Curious. Curious what they got going on during the holidays. Let's see. Moonlight Acres Family Camp, 1985 Christmas Eve Party. Tape produced for distribution by Gemini Home Entertainment. Okay. Barry Johnson, Jack Dean, Mary Dean, Bo Nadler, Nadler. They could be credits or they could be characters that are set up. Cool. A lot of scary stuff happens in winter. Stuck indoors. Family. Dealing with family, the huge. Longing for home. Eclipse? Is that an eclipse? Because it didn't look like the moon was being wiped out there. Maybe they came and visited us during an eclipse? This is about on par with most of my family videos. Especially in the early days. You don't know what to, you don't know what you're taking a video of. You don't know what's good. You're just like, ah, let me get some B-roll of, like, branches. <laughs> Ooh. It's actually well-produced for a home video. Family. Oh, man. Ooh, maybe this one's giving us the year of when things start. Is that... Whoa, hey! Oh yeah, maybe this is like first invasion or something. Here, real quick, let me make. Are closed captions on, Matt? Do you know? Uh, closed captions are not an option. Cool. Okay, good to know. So this one almost seems to be telling us our uh, maybe our starting year. Oh, oh, wait, what was that? Oh, weird. Oh, super weird. One, two, three, four. So it's a giant. Huh, that's different. Because, so the last one ended with kind of like a crab-like or spider-like creature. So, so like, the, making me think like the fully grown version of these are like traditional insects or spiders. Uh, but this one is almost plant-based. It kind of looks like he, a gnarled, gnarled tree. Maybe there's different versions of them. Yeah, so the fact that there was an earthquake makes me think it was like first contact or like something crash landed. Ooh, oh, hey. This is one of those moments where it's like, hey, print screen, this, are we hiding something spooky in the background? Where is, do we have Photoshop called out or just here? That's fine. Open Photoshop. Here we go. Let's, let's pull it up, friends. Let's see if this, if this, I, right now, this doesn't seem like a story that's really hiding a lot of like. ARG or secret stuff in the the shadows just like jump scares and things, but I'm curious nonetheless uh, Clipboard's fine 
Let's go. Let's go brightness, right? Like right there. Almost looks like a human eye right over there, doesn't it? Let's do exposure. What is that? <laughs> looks like a very tall headed creature. Hey guys. But he looks like he has like an eyebrow and an eye and then another eyebrow and another room for his eye over there. That's just how it looks to me. Brightness. Huh. Right? It's a bit hard to make out. But it does look... I'm like getting a... like Christmas tree limb. Oh, yeah. I, I could see that. Like, the, so. like a branch kind of thing. Because it does have a lot of like fibrousness to it yeah am i am i just looking into this too much and it's it's literally just a christmas tree branch you, you might be I'm, i i mean welcome to my life <laughs> but really red circle arrow what we missed <laughs> what we missed from christmas eve party gemini home entertainment oh oh damn it wait is it that's a weird christmas tree or like even as a re as like a garland I mean, it's definitely, it looks plant-based. Is it a branch? Like, what is that? That's wacky. Maybe it's just a big vine? Are they plant-based creatures? Oh, there it is. So they're huge. He's the size of a house. And they are coming from space. All the shots of space seems to, like say like hey this is a space based creature oh there man we did all we did all that work and they just show it to be fair i still have no idea what that is what is that what is that supposed to be it's like a giant ugly scratching post oh it's on the roof Ooh, can it speak? It sounded like let me in. Oh no. Nope. Oh hey! Oh hi. Oh, what is that? Like an Oh, things have escalated quickly. Nope. No bueno. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Here, hold up. We gotta, we gotta go through this a little bit slowly. Because there's a lot of frames. So... So is it an octopus? I'm really confused about what exactly these things are, because we have, like, this weird plant-looking thing. We have a octopus kind of creature. We got the proboscis. Anything in here? Just kind of blurry. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. The lakeside cabin, home of celebrations. Wait, really? They're doing no Christmas tree? Yes! Ooh. Ooh. Alex Whitler and videographer Jack Dean. Oh, that's creepy. Mary. Ha! Huh. Great. Gemini, home entertainment. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit of nice breathing there at the end. Great, huh? Interesting. So, so they that does seem to suggest that they're body snatchers or body eaters in a lot of ways, right? Like the fact that two of the guys had their like faces kind of like blurred out implies that they no longer exist and that the alien has taken over. 
Um, but the fact that Mary is just a giant tentacle suction cup thing seems to imply that they ate Mary. So we've got like this weird spider creature. We've got these kind of insectoid, almost like plant-like tendril things. Huh, I wonder, I wonder. And very clearly they're coming from outer space and sending signals back home. Uh, Matt, anything I've been missing? Ooh, deep well, root disease. Do you think we should start from the beginning? Do you at think this they're point? chronological? Yeah, I mean, you're you're the one who suggested starting at the end, so I was just going down the line. I would I would maybe start from the beginning, see if we can like piece some stuff together. From the beginning now, yeah. okay. All right, so we've got a sense of where we're at. Now let's get a uh, start from where we where we began things. Okay. So this one is was this world's weirdest animals? Oh, great, cool, <laughs> nice. This is a slightly longer one, eight minutes. So I'm gonna lean back and watch. Planet Earth, world's weirdest animals. Rural Minnesota. Okay, so oh, so this is giving us our setting, rural Minnesota, presumably. Hold up. I have never noticed this before. Uh, the face. Are you talking about the face? Yeah, the face. <laughs> I cannot unsee this right now. Is this how Min Minnesota normally looks? Yeah, I think so. No! I mean, I know that Minnesota has this general shape. Like, we have uh, our, our neighbors growing up went to Minnesota literally multiple, like, every, every other month. Um, so they were in, in and out of Minnesota a lot. And I've been there. I have never noticed that it has such a pronounced face. My mind is currently, like, of all the creepy stuff that has just happened that we're reacting to, the thing that has truly blown my mind is the revelation about the true nature of Minnesota. Yeah. Is this how Minnesota, is this that an is, actual cutout of Minnesota? Yes, Minnesota does look like that. No way! I cannot unsee the face. That's wild. And it's precise, too. It's got his nose, his, like, there's even a lips and a brow line. He's got a forehead. Right? He's got, like, a little jowl. Yeah, he's got jowl. <laughs> got the jowls weird man mystery solved we figured it out we figured it out that's it <laughs> done there you go gemini home entertainment it is the state of gemini being eaten alive by this silhouette creature what the heck wilkin county i don't care man minnesota guy who knew i bet everyone in the comments is like yeah duh everyone knows that that guy exists I've never once seen that. Animal number one. Let me guess, animal number three is gonna be like humans or something. Greater prairie chicken. That's a really pretty bird. It's very cute. Oh, he's got the big old sack. Oh, native to uh, Central North America. Greater prairie chickens are well known for their prominent air sacs and protruding ear-like feathers. Oh, that's cute. What a pleasant bird. Oh, there he goes. These birds often engage in lecking, a form of mating ritual. The, male, the males utilize their air sacs to impress females. Oh, he does his little dance. Whoa, look, he's got like little extra like wings on his side. That's crazy. Animals are wild. During the winter, greater prairie chickens have been observed diving into the snow to stay warm. How weird. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at how cute these, oh, look at them dance. Look at them vie for mating superiority. I'm the more fit individual! I should be the one to procreate! Man, once you know about evolution and survival of the fittest, all the cute animal behavior just takes on a whole different meaning. Unfortunately. <laughs> what looks like cute animals dancing becomes just like, I want to pass on my sperm! Or the way that like we manufactured really cute animals. Wow. Man, <laughs> thanks, oh, man. I, I think about it constantly. Do you really? Yeah. Well, you know how like pugs are are shaped like that. Yeah, it's, burrowing out. We did that. I, yeah, I know. Crazy. Yeah. We'll we'll get to that. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's another thing. That's the thing we haven't gotten to talk about in the theory, but maybe one of these days. Yeah, the selective breeding. Oh, <gasps> maybe that's finally my boss baby theory. I've been trying to figure <laughs> oh, out a boss God. baby theory. Wait, in what way does selective breeding have to do with the boss baby? Well, so in boss baby, <laughs> oh boss baby two's coming out. <laughs> I've been wanting to figure out what the boss baby theory is. This is see, we're live theorizing. This is theory crafting. In a not, everyone always asks at meet and greets and stuff, how do you theory craft? This is one element of it. 
Um, I come across the topic and it just sparks something in my mind. Uh, the plot of Boss Baby number one is that they need to stop the dogs because mm -hmm. there's a company that's oh. releasing the cute dogs mm -hmm. and the dogs are cuter than babies, making everyone not want to make babies, right. but instead have dogs. Right. So maybe it's something there. Something with yeah. selective breeding the dogs. Something selective breeding the selective dogs. Breeding well, because the, well, the whole thing is like they have created the ultimate dog, right? Oh. They've created this like really cute dog that everyone loves. Yeah. Huh. Maybe I can do something with it. I've been trying to, anyone have any suggestions for boss baby theories? Uh, I've been talking to the writers, trying to figure out one for a while, because I really want to do it. The new movie's coming out. It, it's it's like a modern day B movie in a lot of ways, where it's like the meme potential of boss baby is like so there. And something about, I've been thinking about like corporate structures of the boss baby hierarchy, you know, because there's a lot, it's, it's a weird world. Boss baby is one of those perfect worlds where it's open enough that, you know, they set up a world, but they haven't really fully thought through it it's very clearly. And so there's a lot of holes that theories can go in and fill in or kind of blow out. The biggest one I've been thinking about, uh, and I need to rewatch the movie again, is about whether or not all of it's happening in the boy, the older brother's imagination, because he's very he's set up to be very imaginative early on, um, and the parents never see the boss baby like react in any strange way to the boss baby. Um, <laughs> I just the boss baby. I just the the line between the boss baby and selective breeding really <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to me, it makes perfect sense. On it. like the the connection is. Have you have you watched Boss Baby? Oh yeah, love. <laughs> love Again, I love the movies that you have watched <laughs> and the stuff that you have not watched. No, but... I've seen it like a few times. We can talk. We can talk. <laughs> You've seen it a few times, and yet you have not seen Lord of the Rings once. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is going to take me eleven hours to watch. Guess boss what? Boss Baby is a solid hour thirty. But Alec you've watched Baldwin it multiple times. A Boss Baby. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. I love it. Oh, man. <laughs> What's found all over the Americas? The owls. Now more elusive. They're really... Owls are super cool, too. They're, they're just freaks of nature. As their name suggests, these owls create large burrows for their nests instead of creating ones in trees. Uh, so, okay, we have another burrowing creature. So... We learned in the first video that they burrow. Maybe they're connected to the owl. Burrowing owls like to live in prairies and open fields where they can use old squirrel and badger holes for their nests. Oh, that's... What lazy bums. Way to repurpose other people's work. They are the coattail riders of the, of the animal kingdom. Do it yourself, owls. You're like... <laughs> don't be a koala. <laughs> Everywhere. Humanity. <laughs> I love that. Everywhere. Hmm. Yep. Ooh, okay. Here we go. The planes. Animal number three. Humans. Humans. Animal number three. It's us. Yep. Here we go. The woods. Oh. Wood crawlers. <laughs> so now they have a name. Okay. Wood crawlers. All right. Found all over North America, these animals are excellent hunters, being able to tread most terrain without making a sound. Ooh. They have one leg? Again, the spider creatures you would think would have kind of multiple tracks. Their preferred nesting locations are inside the homes of large families where large swarms can adapt easier. Oh! Okay, cool. <laughs> you will hear screaming. Great, so cool. They stole their voices. So the wood crawlers steal human voices, it sounds like. Burn the bodies lest they stand up again. So that's talking about the wood. So this is a PSA to us? Nature's mockery. Wow. All right. So all the other videos have been seemingly sent. Oh, oh, Jesus. So there's the spider thing again. Ooh, hey. All right, back to live action footage. All right. Huh. Got you guys. Just gonna, just gonna hang out here.
here. <laughs> I was not anticipating the, the creepy spider legs there. Ooh, is it, wait, is, oh no, that's it. Whoever this person... Huh, this is interesting. I wonder if this is the same person as the final video. Like, maybe that's why there hasn't been, there was an upload every month. And then there's no more uploads for three months or whatever. Maybe it ended his story. Like, to me, I see this. Are they looking at us? Oh, they are! Ooh, and they little, do a little bob thing. So it does seem like they're body snatchers then, right? Because the wood, I'm not, I'm not the wood crawler here. Oh yeah, totally. He's trying to learn how to be human. How to like use his muscles and stuff. How to replicate humans. Oh, that's just eerie. The lighting on that's just terrifying. Fake people. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So who are we? Are we the guy who, like, knows this is going on and trying to expose it? It seems like there's two stories. There's the video going back to Gemini. And then there's us trying to expose them or capture footage of these things. Oh, wild, wild. All right. And then maybe that story ends, or this guy's story ends at the end when he goes into the house, gets caught under the bed, and that's why there haven't been more uploads. Ooh. Oh man, I'm just waiting for him. I'm just waiting for it to appear. Oh, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even. They just like moved slightly quickly, and I'm like, oh geez. All it takes is like one small movement. World's weirdest animals. All right, and we're back to normal. Huh. Gemini Home Entertainment. So this was the first episode or upload right so maybe weird there's a there was a lot of blank space at the end of this thing and that could just be an export there's also like a weird thumping it doesn't sound like it's morse code or anything though and it doesn't really seem like there's anything there I'm just i mean why not i've got it pulled up and open at this point might as well again it doesn't feel like one of those sorts of stories Hmm. There does seem to be a shape, though, doesn't there? Like an egg? Right? It looks kind of like... So there is... I mean, it definitely seems like there is something there. It seems to be like... Like maybe an egg that hatched. It reminds me a bit of the alien... In Alien, how you have the, the face huggers pop out of these eggs that open up like a flower. So maybe this is like one of their eggs hatched and they're taking over the family or something. That's what that looks like to me. Huh, good. Well, hey, so th uh, that does establish that this is something that does seem to hide stuff. Like I, here, here is that thumping too. I bet it's probably the same image, but just to make sure. Because again, we heard that thumping before. Interesting. I wonder what it is. It's different this time, though, because it's not... It's not all kind of, like, leaky looking. This isn't really going to do a whole lot. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Interesting. This is cool. I like this. This is a good choice. Gemini Home Entertainment. Uh, well, how are we doing time-wise? Do we... We should wrap it there. Okay. 
Oh, real quick before we wrap, let me just do a quick look through the description, see if there's anything. Uh, Gemini, Gemini Home Entertainment is not monetized, okay? So go support them, listen to it for you with YouTube. Music, okay, a lot of music. Nothing really there. Just to check the ones that we watched. It's not monetized, but you can support them through Patreon and through their merch. And then last one was this one. And that's not monetized. There you go. Gemini Iris. Huh. Analog horror web series. Analog horror. Huh. Cool. Well, there you go. Fascinating. I appreciate, you know, huge credit to Remy, his name is. Their name is. I don't know. Guy or girl. Uh, Remy. They. Um, I don't know what their, you know, what, what the goal is with the, the, the series and stuff, but credit where credit's due to put the kind of like immersion breaking stuff, uh, at the bottom of the description is really cool. Like it's, it's to their detriment, right? Because if the link is in the top line of the description, more people are able to access it, see it and click it. Uh, but in order to kind of maintain the like true vision of the art, uh, and not to ruin the immersion of what this is and that it is a project that someone is making. Um, they've dropped this down, which is just really, I mean, kudos to them. Uh, well done. Uh, that's really cool. I, I really appreciate kind of that creative decision. And small little details like that really make a big difference. Um, Gemini Home Entertainment. I wonder if this is connected to other things. Like this remind Gemini Home Entertainment soundtrack. Huh, interesting. I wonder, politely asks that listeners of this soundtrack do not disturb the original uploaders by referencing our video distribution company. Huh, so this is, seems like it's just probably, I'm like, oh, maybe there's clues hidden in these, but it sounds like the fact that they're saying do not disturb the original uploaders says, hey, this isn't really connected, I guess. Who knows? Oh, hello. Community tab, leak. Interesting. Offer to record Christmas Eve party for commercial distribution. Free accommodations will be provided from 24th to the 6th. Oh, cool. Extraction. Root. So, okay, so it does seem like the, there is some, like, plant stuff related here, too. The new game. Defect. How many units of the recalled product are not responsible for the creation? Cool. Missing Jack. Jack Walden? What? No. Jack? It's definitely Jack. Wall. W A L. W U L? No. Jack D. -D. He was a member of the production team credited in one of the videos that we watched. That's true. I just appreciated the connection to the oh. Walton files. <laughs> yeah, because the last name is Dean. Yeah, I know. But it could be Jack Walton <laughs> Dean. It's all connected, friends. Who knew? It's all. It's, it's the unofficial extension to the Walton files. Uh, wildlife expert Jack missing in May of his originally small case of man. Hand. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but yeah, he was part of the production company, right? Huh. Cool. Good, good use of the community tab. Yeah, th that's the thing. Like, you have videos, you got community tabs, you got this game. There's a lot here. I It doesn't feature any other channels. I was wondering if this is potentially connected to, you know, one of the, like, local 58s or one of the... Because at this point, you're seeing a lot of this analog horror stuff coming up on YouTube. And I'd love to... I wonder if, you know, if I'm a creator, maybe I'm doing multiple channels and they come together or something. There's a lot of cool directions to take it. Anyway... Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, we can continue this if, if you're interested. This is this is a fun one. It's definitely different from animatronic FNAFI horror, but uh, I'm really curious about sleep image visualizer uh, and game for kids. That sounds like fun. Uh, so anyway, let me know if this is a series that you'd like us to continue reacting to, uh, watch it, like co-watching with you guys, theorizing about in real time, because this is a lot of fun. Um, I think there's a lot here... There's a game that we can kind of poke around into. Uh, so, yeah, super cool. Good find, Matt and Amy. Clap and a half to you guys. And, uh, 
that's it, friends. So watch out for any stray proboscis. Uh, proboscises? Pro pro probos Probosci? Sure. One of those two. Watch out for any straight proboscis, and I'll see you in the next video. So remember, it wasn't live, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!